this tonight. Ghana's first floating production, storage and offloading FPSO vessel, FPSO Kwame Nkrumah, is scheduled to be shut down from Thursday, February 1 for maintenance work. Now the shutdown will lapse three weeks after which the vessel will undergo another shutdown in March and November this year. This was disclosed by a petroleum engineer at the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation GMPC, Albert London, at a workshop on the 2017 annual report on the petroleum funds. The first shutdown is intended to repair the damaged turrets bearing of the Jubilee FPSO. With a total production of oil expected to increase to 170,000 barrels a day in 2018, Engineer London says total average of crude oil production will not be affected. We factored in the shutdowns we are going to have, the duration of the shutdown and the possible downtime and to, to arrive at these figures. So the so Jubilee is going to give us about 75,000 barrels of oil a day, whilst 10 is going to give us about 60,000 barrels of oil a day. And Sankofa GME will give us around 35,000 barrels. That gives us the 170,000 barrels from these three fields. Oil production from the Jubilee field was fairly stable during the year under review, with an average 89,725 barrels of oil per day, as against a target of 66,202 barrels of oil per day. Resource governance expert Samuel Osei-Bequin has questioned the planned shutdown of the FPSO. They need to come out and let Ghanaians understand what the causes were. Was it that by the time of the design or when we went to purchase the FPSO, we did not do a better due diligence to ensure that these engineering problems were not going to happen after five to eight years into production? I think it's important for us to question not just GMPs, but the operator teller as well. Head of the Energy, Oil and Gas Unit at the Finance Ministry, Dr. Joseph Asenso, however, insists the 10-week shutdown will not have any negative impact on revenue target and production. The price that we used in the budget was $57.36 per barrel. As we speak now, it stands at $65. So there is somewhat a windfall between our projection and then the actual. So the shutdown has been factored in the projection and we do not expect any adverse implications if we stay within the 10-week uh, period of shutdown. 